Mm -hmm. you know, Romney really trending down in the last 24 hours when we look at your five-day tracking poll here. And we can also see Newt Gingrich in this yellow line mm -hmm. bumping up. You've got some new data since right. we were able to print this. Uh, that's right. Check Gallup.com at 1 because that's when we release the update every day. And we will see this gap closing even more. It was a 23-point gap. Uh, Romney was up 23 points over Newt Gingrich, and now it's going to be down to just about 10 points when we report today at 1 o'clock. So, so clearly things are collapsing. They're for, collapsing and uh, contracting. Yeah, absolutely. Good for this is national, there. national. Gotcha. And so mm -hmm. historically, when you've looked at the day before a vote, have we seen so much movement at this time? And is there any possibility that Romney might be able to reverse this sort of collapsing? Anything is possible. Yeah. <laughs> we have seen more movement, more roller coaster kind of effect this year than in any other Republican primary in our history of tracking it. So we have learned, look at Newt Gingrich, down and up and, and so forth. We don't right. see on here uh, Herman Cain and Rick Perry when they were up earlier. So yes, I think anything is possible. We've seen that already. Newt Gingrich has been up, he's been down, so it would not be out of the realm of possibility that he gains more, or it wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility if Romney uh, recovers. We'll wait and see.